Alles so? Okay. Okay, we put the uh, I am Gabriele Falasca, a front-end developer uh, in SourceSense, uh, an Italian company, uh, Mozilla Tech Speaker and uh, ROM.js member and uh, so on. Okay. Before I talk about WebAssembly, I want to make you a recap for, uh, of the internet history. Okay. Le let's start. Uh, as you see, in the early 90, uh, the web pages uh, was only static HTML content. After some years, uh, the pages are uh, become di dynamic because the server can uh, reach the request and elaborate uh, the data and uh, generate. Uh, okay. And generate. Uh, <coughs> and generate an a optimized page for a determined request. Today, the server uh, return only data in most cases. So return JSON and the web page is built uh, directly from the client. Okay? And, uh, and the client is JavaScript that have to, to build the, the page. Okay, JavaScript is the only language that uh, can run in a browser. But JavaScript was designer, designed for uh, manage the user interaction with the DOM. Now it's evolved, but uh, uh, now you can write a complete web application, but uh, it's, uh, it's an hard work for the browser. Okay, and uh, how to speed up our application? with a framework or uh, with a pre-compilator that generates uh, JavaScript very optim optimized. But uh, <coughs> there is a new step of the building web page. Can web page uh, run at uh, hardware native speed? Yes, with the WebAssembly. WebAssembly is a new format for uh, the compilation to the web. It's a sort of uh, assembly that uh, runs in a browser at uh, na native performance. Okay? Yeah, don't worry because it's not a blob, a binary blob uh, put in your, in your browser from the network, but it's a, a sort of uh, human readable uh, bytecode and this compiled the uh, runtime. You can oh. okay. You can write your uh, native code and compile it uh, with the LLVM uh, WebAssembly target. And uh, after JavaScript, uh, fetch this module and uh, compile it uh, runtime. Okay. Uh, at this moment, uh, WebAssembly is uh, an MVP, okay, and uh, let's see the past milestone of, the, of WebAssembly and other history, okay. In the April 2015, it started the, was born the community group of WebAssembly. In June, there is the public announcement of the technology. In March uh, 2016, uh, they are defined uh, the core feature and uh, how to implement this. In October, they are announced the, the browser preview of uh, WebAssembly. And after, and in March uh, 2017, uh, WebAssembly has reached uh, the cross-browser consensus. In this moment, uh, WebAssembly is uh, uh, from Feb February 2018, is, uh, was released the specification, the draft of the, of the specification on uh, what 1.0 release. Okay, but is a draft uh, is frequently updated, and last update is uh, the day before yesterday, so it's uh, very recent. Okay, this draft. Uh, 
defines uh, the specification about uh, the core, the, Java, the JavaScript interface, and the web API. Okay, and uh, for each of these parts, uh, we can have uh, a separate talk because uh, are very long and complex uh, to, <coughs> to speech. Okay, the core specification defines uh, rules about uh, syntax and naming convention, building, validation, and execution, and define the, the standard of the binary format the types and the values of the, of the uh, technology. The JavaScript API defines uh, rules about uh, the interactions between uh, WebAssembly modules. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Okay, sorry. The JavaScript API defines the rules about the interactions between uh, WebAssembly modules and JavaScript, uh, how to store data and passing data between uh, the, these two actors and uh, the sandboxing, because of, uh, WebAssembly modules were run in a sandbox and environment for obvious uh, security reasons. Okay? And... Uh, the web API defines rules about uh, the model compilation, the model instantiation, instantiation, and about interaction between uh, the DOM and uh, the models. Okay? Oh, let's see some resources. Okay. It's, uh, there are some resources of, uh, for uh, using WebAssembly. Let's start with uh, a demo. Okay. This is uh, an OpenGL demo. Oh, no, don't see? Okay. Okay, this is uh, a game of re uh, writing OpenGL, compiled in WebAssembly. So the compilation is uh, a runtime, okay? And uh, now we have to, to play with it. So I don't know. This for demonstrate the power of uh, just for demo. This is a, a great tool where uh, you can uh, write your code uh, in C++ and it shows all, all the steps for uh, compile it in, uh, from C to assembly passing from uh, the WASM, uh, WASM part. Okay, if I compile this, uh, this uh, simple function, okay, the, the mid tab is the format uh, that uh, arrives uh, to the browser and uh, 
after there is the, the compiled uh, assembly. Another tool is the WebAssembly Studio, an, uh, an online IDE for, uh, for making things, uh, for experimenting uh, with uh, WebAssembly. Um, I try to build something, but uh, don't work. It's a beta version and uh, some ba uh, a little bit bucket. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, if you have uh, some question, because. Uh, Thank you so much. So, uh, okay, he's over there. Thank you. Uh, I need to ask you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Hi. Um, can I ask what's the status of DOM manipulation in WebAssembly? Because that's the thing that's preventing us from uh, just cutting out JavaScript altogether at the moment, I think. Thanks. I want to inform all of you that this uh, afternoon at 4 and 40 p.m., uh, we have another talk about WebAssembly and Rust. So if someone uh, of you want to continue to follow these topics, they can. Okay, any other question for Gabriele? Yes. Is the IDE we're seeing right now actually written in WebAssembly? Out of curiosity. The IDE that we're seeing right now, has it been written in WebAssembly? You can, okay, well. Yeah. Another question? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the talk. Uh, well, uh, the WebAssembly standard is supported by a lot of uh, major companies. What about toolings, for example, MScript, and who's supporting it, uh, and what is the state of MScript, and, or probably any roadmap? Thank you. I mean, any roadmap for these tools? Thank you so much. Any other question? Oh, sorry. Any other question? Okay, yes. Hey, uh, can we use a GPU with a WebAssembly? 
Any other question? Yeah, sorry. So, what is being uh, actually built with the WebAssembly other than games? What are people using it for other than uh, building games? Any other question? Yes. A uh, quick question about the uh, editor. Is that uh, VS Code or Monaco? That, is that VS Code or Monaco that's based on? Uh, I think it's Monaco, Monaco Edit. Okay. Is uh, the web version Got of uh, VS Code. Any other question? No, I, I have one question. Sorry. But if I want to uh, create DLL, for example, for the elaborating uh, audio signal. Okay. Okay. I, I can. Okay. Any other question for Gabriele? No? Okay. Thank you so much, Gabriele. Thank you, all of you. So we will restart at the 2 and 10.